mean, why do you want to light someone that's perfectly bright outside and why is blasting music waste so much energy? Don't we have a test tomorrow? I have no idea how to apply anything we've learned. How is the oh, Carlos? God, relax. We've come here to learn thermodynamics, right? What's better than to see it in action? Repack your stuff. We're going on an adventure. Welcome to the Abbott Power Plant, one of the few cogeneration plants on a campus in the US, providing power and heating to more than 250 buildings. By reusing the steam produced during the process to heat the buildings across campus, it can work at an efficiency of nearly 80%, which is almost double than a conventional power plant. How can you support a thermal power plant? We need cleaner sources of energy. Our campus has not lost energy since 2009. Geez, how does he know so much? Does he work here? This plant has been keeping up with growing demands for 82 years and has been retrofitted with better technology to make the entire process even cleaner and more efficient. Wait, but how can we only depend on one source to power such a big campus? Shouldn't we have a backup or another system in place to support this? We have two solar farms that produce 27,000 megawatt hours of energy every year helping us meet our climate action plan. In fact, it is one of the largest on-campus solar farms in the entire country. Also, we got this, we got this, this, we maybe got this, this. And that's not all. Remember that building we were studying in earlier? That's powered by a geothermal system that's provided its entire heating and cooling. We're standing on top of underground power lines, a network of over 35 miles of steam pipes, and a geothermal bore well, all coming together to power this campus that we know and love. So many people depend on the people at the plant and the farm to do their jobs right, and we don't realize how complex it is until we see it for ourselves. We still need more changes in our energy systems and more people like us to ask the difficult questions. Our campus is meeting its energy needs right now, but it still has a long way to go. Based on what we learned today, let's try to be more appreciative of the things that we take for granted and push for a cleaner and safer future. We still have to study for our thorough dynamics exam, so... Yeah.